Alice is ready to go. I got pictures of football players, Ooh. too. It's awesome. So, Baker Mayfield's offense this entire season has never been the problem. If they needed to put up points up until, like, yesterday, they could put up points. So, when you look at the tape on your fancy iPad over there, mm -hmm. what do you see? Uh, what I see is they put up points in the first half. In the second half, not so much, but it wasn't Baker Mayfield. It was more the Georgia... Anderson is here. Uh, he did apologize for calling Eli Man. Uh, sorry, Eli Apple uh, a cancer. It also happened the very same week that um, he was suspended for actions detrimental to the team. We're talking about Apple here. What is the future for Apple with that organization? Well, I think it was really telling when Landon Collins was on first take and he was asked if he was and ahead of DRC. So Ross Cockrell also pushing Eli out in terms of right. talent and production that they're getting from somebody else. Perhaps too. we'll know a little bit more about what the Giants are thinking after this afternoon because Dave Gettleman told Sirius XM Radio that he's going to meet with Apple today. Justina, thanks. He's had to deal with a lot of running backs over mm -hmm. your career. Can you explain to me what makes Alan Kamara and Mark Ingram so special? They're both special individual players, Diana, but it's the mentality of the entire offensive unit which is special because they will run it, especially when they have to run it. Can't stop them. Now, here's another situation. The Carolina Panthers earlier in the year. Here's the situation. Of They convert. You knew what we were going to do, and you still yeah. couldn't stop us. That's the mentality they have. And with those two special backs, along with one of the best offensive lines in the game, blocking wide receivers, Diana, it's on. So the Panthers, though, their defense, what do they need to do if they want to slow them down? To slow them. You know, ever since the Falcons took a 28-3 lead in Super Bowl 51, it seems like everything has been an uphill climb for reigning NFL MVP Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. But... Throughout it all, Ryan has been getting support from an unlikely place. Former Falcons quarterback Mike Vick. As Jim Trotter tells us, it's almost a hard-to-believe friendship between two very different Atlanta legends. We, uh, in, in, 07, <laughs> in 07, we used to play uh, Queen, um, uh, another one bites the dust after every win. Hmm. You, you uh -huh. just showed your So age. what about this stuffed animal? Yeah, what's going on here? It's my son's stuffed animal. It's my son's birthday. Dante, happy birthday.